So I was thinking about yesterday's Wordle. The word was train. My kids have always loved trains. My boys and my girls. Uh, my youngest, Oliver, can spend hours in his room with his train table lining the trains up on the track. What's interesting about trains is unlike cars, trains can only go in the direction the track leads them, right? They only have forward and backwards and they have boundaries, but those boundaries help them get to where they need to go, right? I think this is very similar to the way we train our bodies, right? Or maybe we should. <laughs> if we give ourselves boundaries, this is where I will go. These are the steps I'm going to take so that I have health, right? Whether it's strength or a certain level of fitness or um, a certain level of just baseline health. The same goes for our minds. If we want to learn something, uh, there's a direction in which we should go and steps we have to take so that we can train our minds to learn new things or to think in certain patterns. Have you ever thought about the fact that maybe we need to train our souls? So many of us right now long for peace, we long for hope, we long for joy in a world that's filled with so many chaotic things. What would it look like if we were training our souls? Paul writes to Timothy that scripture is useful for encouraging and um, for training in righteousness, training our souls in the right way it goes. So I wonder, what would it look like to train your soul just as much as you trained your body or your mind. This is your Wordle for Life, and I'm Sarah Locke.